Good morning. Just gone on Edwards, JGE Music. Welcome to my series on quick tips on how to make production library music or how to increase your chances of getting your music used. So today we're looking at how to make short edits to your tracks. Um, when you submit your deliverables to a library, you have your main mix, alternate mixes, underscore, stems, but you also send shorter edits of the piece of music. Now, the reason we do this, you have an excellent piece of music, someone else has an excellent piece of music, the, they're exactly what the editor's looking for, but the editor's doing an advert which is only 30 seconds long. So all they need is 30 seconds of this music. The other person has uploaded a 30 second cut where it's a nice snapshot that captures the piece in, 30 sec in a 30 second window with a beginning and an end. And so all the editor has to do is drag it and drop it into their session. That composer gets the money, gets the PRS, and you get <laughs> nothing. So library music, production library music is a numbers game. You want to make everyone else's job as easy as possible. So then it's more likely that your work gets used and you get the money. So with that in mind, let's have a look at a session. Okay, so here's a track. This track is finished. It is called Thrilling Joy. It is 145 BPM. It is happy, uplifting, fast. And this particular album, I'm going for the sort of advert space. So I would definitely want to do uh, 30 second cuts, maybe even a 15 second cut. So you can see we've got the three sections here. This sort of left, left section is the intro and uh, the warm up. Then we have a nice sort of bridge section. And then the third section is the all out. So I'm just going to play the track and then we'll decide like where to do our 30 second cut. But usually it's the last section I go for because that's where the payoff is. And if, you, uh, if you're only listening to 30 seconds of it, you'd want to go straight to there. So that was the track. This track is about a minute and a half long. I only need 30 seconds of it. Um, I'm going to go straight to the end. Right, so I'm going to start my cut on the third section. So first thing to do is duplicate this over because I don't want to start cutting out of the main version. So I'm going to go straight in, gung-ho, and delete the first bit. Pull that over a bit as well, so it's a bit closer. So that's just over 30 seconds, this section. And what I'm doing here is with my left click, I'm holding down on the clip in Logic, and that little info box comes out. And you can see it says length, 18 bars, uh, no hours, no minutes, 30 seconds, and 5.14 frames, which obviously has bugger all to do with us because we're not working with video today. So what I'm doing is I'm top and tailing getting all that silence. So now it is 29 seconds. So with, an, with, a 30, with a cut, with an edit, it has to finish on the second. So it has the audio file has to be 30 seconds, including 
a reverb tail. What I'm actually going to do is just put an empty MIDI clip and make this clip exactly 30 seconds. My MIDI clip is snapping to the beats. If you hold down control, it suddenly stops snapping whilst you drag it. Length is what I'm looking at is on the bottom left, 29, 30, there we go. So that is a 30 second, that yellow bit there is 30 seconds exactly. So our, our audio has to have finished by that point. So if I play just the ending. Hangs over a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this down into a stereo audio file. Um, that's exactly 30 seconds long. So I mix this down into a stereo WAV, which is here. This is exactly 30 seconds long. Um, just to, uh, the only reason I've done this is because I want to edit this reverb tail. So that cuts off currently. So all I'm doing with the fade tool, and I've got it set up so I can have it on the corner. In fact, I'll show you how to do that real quick. To set it up so you can have Logic automatically make the fade tool on corners of clips. Logic, preferences, general, editing, fade tool, click zones. And that allows you to do this. It just cuts out the step of having to um, uh, add a fade tool as a second button. Do that, play around with the curve. That, you see that was too sharp, so I'm gonna go like that. Perfect. Export this section and there's your 30 second clip. Well, that was very exciting. If one person found that useful, then my work has been done. If you did find it useful, give me a thumb up. And if you wanna hear more tips, um, feel free to subscribe. Any questions, chuck them in the comments and I'll reply. And I'll leave you with some links to jgemusic.com and soundcloud.com forward slash jgemusic where you can hear work I've been doing. That's about it. Thank you very much. See ya.